Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a faceless YouTube channel using all AI tools. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is you want to write your video script, and the tool that I like to use is Writer because it has really good value for money. And it has, more importantly, it has the unlimited output feature, which is very important because uh, with the, you know when using AI content writing tools, you have to kind of train the AI tool to um, learn how to write about a certain topic, especially if it's technical, right? So if you're using a credit-based AI tool, you're basically flushing money down the drain because every time you train it, you're just burning money, All right? So uh, I use Writer. Here is the dashboard. I like to create the outline first. Um, you can do something like, let's go uh, maybe dog walking. Okay. I'm going to leave it at three variants and maybe optimum. You can put more, you can change your creativity level, but I like to op keep it optimal and then click right for me. What this is going to do is it's going to create a outline for me. Okay. And when it creates the outline, I can go ahead and pick, you know, maybe pick and choose which one I like. Right, so here are all the outlines, the top dog walking jobs of the future. What is a dog walker? Pitfalls to avoiding dog walking jobs. How to get started as a dog walker. Your job, your guide to becoming one. The top dog walking jobs of the future. And then you have these other ones. I'm just going to pick the, the first one. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the keywords along with the introduction and click on paragraph. What, the, what this is going to do is it's going to incorporate the keywords into the content while it's generating the content for the heading. Okay. Once it's generated, you go ahead and make sure to delete the keywords. And you go ahead and do the same for the entire outline. Okay. So I'm going to do it like for this one. Okay, so I've went ahead and did the whole entire outline, and I have about 643 words. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and I'm not done here. Um, this step for me, I like to go ahead and do because I want to polish my my content up and make it you know perform as best as, as it can. So the next phase I go to is I typically go into Grammarly. Okay, and I go ahead and this is oh sorry, this is Grammarly Premium, right? Because I want to check for uh, plagiarism, as well as I also want to check for how well the the, the content is. Right, so how readable is it? So I I, I basically set it for the uh, presets, right? And my intent, um, I like to inform. I'm gonna keep it as inform. Click on done. All right, and from here I get an 80, 85 score. I try to get it to 90. So what I'll do is I'll go down and try to make the corrections. These red ones are the important ones. So I try to fix them. And as you can see, every time you fix it, it goes ahead and recalculates the, the score. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and try to fix some of these. Okay, so as you can see, the score keeps rising. So I'm going to do a little bit more correction just using Grammarly, try to get the score a little bit higher um, because that's going to be very important, especially with the new Google update. You want higher quality content, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I went ahead and did quick corrections, got it to 90, okay? And now I'm going to check for plagiarism. And hopefully it's... Not too bad. Okay, so only you know nine percent plagiarism. So basically, it's ninety-one percent unique. That's good enough for me. All right, and this this extra process here uh, makes ensures that this content can rank. All right, because if this is too low, and what, what at least what I found from my experience, if the overall performance of this piece right here is, is eighty-five or, or lower than that, um, it, it's 
you're going to be harder to rank if I post this on a blog, all right? And same with plagiarism. I, I try to keep it 10% or, or lower, all right? And when these two are checked, uh, these two criteria are met, then I move on to the second phase, and that is I generate the voiceover. Right? And the one I like to use is Murf Studio. All right, so these AI tools are great. Unfortunately, and this is one thing I, I really wish, this is a, probably a pipe dream, but I wish this was one tool that did all. I right? did it all really well. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, what, what I found is there's one AI tool that does uh, voiceover really well, which is Murph Studio, and one that does content really well, which is Writer, right? And then another one that does, uh, you know, kind of like uh, editorial. It, it edits your, your, your text and checks for grammar. Grammarly does that really well, but I haven't found one tool that does it all. All right, so unfortunately, uh, I have to kind of take different AI tools in order to get the highest quality uh, video. All right, so for the voiceover, I use Murph Studio, and the reason why is because even though their um, video editor is a bit weak, the the uh, voiceover is very very strong. So let me go ahead and create a project for you. Um, dog walking demo okay great project and from here you just simply paste the well you're gonna paste the uh, the text but you're not done all right because you want to make it sound real as realistic as possible so what I like to do is I like to go to add pause and go to medium oops let me go here medium okay and then copy this and I like to add pauses between any kind of uh, heading or any kind of kind of like numbering. Okay, so this is a heading. All right, so before and after really helps. Okay, so right here, before, after, and and you know what I mean. Like if you went ahead and published this, it would just merge the sentences sometimes. So these pauses make it sound much, much more realistic. Okay, and last one right here. All right. So once you add the pauses inside like for the, the subheading, the, the title, the heading, the subheadings, and any kind of numbered items, then you go ahead and click on, oh, so you choose the voice. See, I prefer, let me go to the voice. And let's go hear some of the voices together. Now, I'm going to be quite honest with you. The uh, basic voices that come with the free um, a version of Murph, they kinda, they're kind of they okay. But the, the most realistic ones are going to be pro. And it's well worth your money because they're the most realistic ones that I've heard of compared to, and, I, and I've compared a lot of them. All right, so this is an example of my, some of my favorite ones. Samantha. Oops, let me, uh, let me play a sample for you. Unwrap the rumpled golden cover. Okay. And then you have Natalie. Natalie's also my favorite of mine. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with real chicken. For a com Okay. And uh, should I show you? Let me show you one more. This is really realistic. Let's see. I'm uh, Michelle. Oops. Hi, and welcome to our company wide training video on organizational culture and policies. Okay. So I like to use Natalie and um, Samantha. Right? Those are my, my favorite because they're, they're very realistic. So once I selected my. Uh, voiceover artist and I added the pauses that's very important please don't skip this step because this is gonna make it sound very re much more realistic um, I'm gonna go ahead and build the audio okay and it's gonna take time so I'll let it uh, run and then let's get back to this when it's completed okay so it's done and this is what the audio sounds like real quick the top dog walking jobs of the future introduction what is a dog walker Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and download this. Oops. Export voice voice only and then download. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to move to this the next the final step. All right, and the last step 
And the final step is to go to Pictory. And what I do is I use this because it has a very unique feature. So I go to script a video real quick. I click on proceed. And then what I do is I simply paste the script in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paste the script. Okay, and I just basically copy this into here. And I just click on proceed. Now you can go ahead and highlight the important words in here so it helps the AI better create the videos. But I'm just going to go ahead and proceed. And then uh, for YouTube, 16 to 9 landscape. Okay, so it's done uh, adding videos to these texts, and then it's also separated the text per, per video. Now the final thing I need to do, and this is the unique feature of Pictory that makes it really amazing and worth the money, is you can add the voiceover and let it sync. It automatically syncs everything. All right, so what I want to do is add voiceover. Nope. Upload voiceover. And you guessed it, I'm going to upload the text-to-speech voiceover from Murph. So once it's uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and I click on entire video and let it sync. So now it's going to sync the the uh, voiceover with the entire video, and I don't have to do anything. Now, this is really a painful process if you have to do it manually. Uh, those of you who have to use, you know, do this manually, it, it really, really kind of sucks. All right, so now you can see the finished product. The top dog walking jobs of the future. Introduction. What is a dog walker? A dog walker, also called a pet sitter, is a person who takes care of someone else's pet while they are not at home. Th this okay. can include feeding them. As you can see, the, the quality is really good, right? The, the stock videos are really good. The texts are already cut out and the audio sync. And that took what? Maybe, you know, maybe nine minutes. It'd be, probably be quicker if I didn't explain everything. So it, this is really, really um, amazing system that I have here and it works now yeah you know you might be complaining if, if you had to you know purchase each one and pay it for a monthly fee I, I've, I've heard that before and i understand yeah in the past i was jaded uh, i bought a lot of products that didn't work it promised me to make money and uh, you know it just didn't amount to anything and i, and I get it you don't want to spend any money um but the thing is look if you were to hire a voice artist if you were to hire um a video editor if you will hire a script writer that would cost way more than the monthly fee that you pay for each one and i guarantee you i'm pretty sure the monthly fee that you you pay for each of these softwares is probably about the tip that you would you probably have to pay for uh, a freelancer in order to do this and you're, you're getting the same results probably better results that than you would if you hire a freelancer so um you know the choice is yours i've done it free and it sucked <laughs> And that's why I switched to AI tools. So uh, this is the system that works for me. I'm sharing it with everyone here. And I'm going to leave a link for this demo video so you can, you can get an idea of the finished product as well as um, the other tools as well. So if this video is helpful, could you please hit the like button? Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.